Jackpot! Hi, everybody. Welcome back. So let me see what I missed. I got a resub from Watley, a prime resub for 23 months on Twitch. And then I also, I know I heard some bits. Yes, Conductor Jackson says, all aboard. Conductor Jackson is here. How's it going, Melanie? Hi. Great to see you everybody all right i'm ready look how cute let's see i'm not using that huge thermos today i'm using this <laughs> for my coffee decaf because i cannot handle caffeine All right, guys, I got my new mix amp thing. I got the Go XLR Mini. I bought that. <laughs> About to go off. Um, and I just set that up today. So uh, I don't know if the audio is different, if it sounds different to you guys than normal, all that. But look, now I can say the F slur. 
<laughs> I just have to, I just have to hope in faith that that worked because I can't, I don't, I'm not monitoring it. Did it work? Did it beep it? Did it? It worked. All right. Now I'm going to say all the F slurs. <laughs> Audio sounds sharper? Good. I was hoping it would sound better with this new thing. Uh, all right. I got a super chat on YouTube from Anthony Garino. The 499 says controversial take. Lord of the Rings Return of the King game is better than every Tomb Raider game. Ha, okay, goodbye, Mel. Have a wonderful stream. You're awesome. I wouldn't compare it to Tomb Raider, though. It's such a different game. Now, the Lord of the Rings games, I love the Two Towers and Return of the King games. But that would be like saying Lord of the Rings better than Halo. They're not this, they're not comparable, but still. They are great. I get it. Thank you so much for the super chat. Wiley asked how my Zoom call was. Oh my gosh. So I'm like, I told, okay. So for those who didn't hear last night, hold on. I need, I need a sip of before I tell this. Jackpot. All right. So I t for those who didn't hear last night before I ended stream, I gave you guys a little bit of heads up. I said, I have a Zoom call tomorrow because this podcast, I got an email from the, a, a manager from this podcast and he's like, hey, we want you as a guest on this podcast. You're speaking with the manager right now. We'll pay you this much money. We're going to do it on Facebook. And I noticed this podcast it was a really big podcast and it's on YouTube. And they also have it on Facebook, but it's not, they don't get nearly as many views there. And I was like, well, Facebook probably sponsors them or something or pays them to have their podcast there. If they're going to be paying me that much money to be a guest on an episode, I'm just going to tell you, he said $3,000. And I was thinking $3,000 for a one hour slot on a podcast. Hmm. I don't know. But I was like, uh, I know like so usually that's a standard rate for like if you were to do something for a video game event or something. Oh, we want you to promote this. I mean, I've been in the industry for a long time, but it, but usually like a $3,000, that was like a day rate uh, for working all day. But I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's, maybe it's a thing, right? Maybe they just like their podcast is pretty huge. So I was guessing that Facebook was paying them because Facebook has paid streamers before and stuff. So anyway, I was like, yeah, sure. He's like, do you want to, or I told him first, I said, just so you know, I'm a very controversial content creator. I've been canceled a lot. I don't think that, um, that the viewers of the podcast, cause I looked at the podcast, it was pretty mainstream podcast. So I was like, they're going to hate me and they're going to be really mad that I'm on there. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and make sure if you still wanted me on there. So then he replies like, oh yeah, it's fine. Let's set up a Zoom call to go over everything. I just want to make sure you're comfortable. Um, by the way, how do you want to receive your payment? Do you want a check or do you want like PayPal or anything like that? So um, I was just like, oh yeah, PayPal will work. So then we get on the Zoom call today and Right before that though, I was thinking, let me check the email on it, make sure this is not something weird. Cause I don't know, I just had a weird feeling, even though I get asked to do podcasts all the time, but I was just like, this just felt a little weird. Cause I was thinking there's no way they'd want me on there on that mainstream podcast. So then I get on there. First of all, the dude's like 10 minutes late. So and I scheduled my whole day around this. I went to Sonic to get some burger patties for lunch which they were good. I got I got triple patties with cheese. Let me show you guys. I took a picture. It looks like double patties, but it's triple. Like you can't tell as much in the photo, but it's blurry. Anyway, yeah, I got that. So then I'm like, oh, I gotta go. Like I made a TikTok video. I was on TikTok for a little bit. And then I was like, I gotta go because I got that call. So I get back, get on the Zoom call. He's like 10 minutes late. And so as soon as he gets on, he's like, Hello there, I am the I am the manager for this podcast. So let's make sure, are you good for April 4th for this? 
And I was like, yeah. It's like, have you done podcast before? And I said, yeah, actually. Or he's like, have you done Facebook podcast before? I was like, oh, I've done a lot of podcasts. Like I'm on Side Scrollers podcast twice a week. I I started explaining it and he just, okay, that's fine. And he didn't even ask for like, he didn't care. He didn't seem to care at all about my podcast experience. I thought this is already, it was weird because the accent. Then it was like, dude, they always are interested in like what you've done and other stuff. So then he's like, okay, so let me show you. He's like, I will share my screen with you. So as you can see on the creator portal, you need to have the creator. I can't remember what what he called him. He's like, as you can see, you have the manager of the page and then you have the creator thing. You need to be able to do this so that you can join the podcast, whenever we go live, we do it all through this. And I was like, okay. And, and then he's like, okay, now you go on your Facebook. I will, and, and tell me if you have creator on there. I was like, no, I don't. I only just have myself on there. And he's like, okay, I need you to share with me your screen so that I can walk you through this. And I said, I'm not going to share my screen with you. I've had people try to scam and steal my Facebook page before. Um, he's like, oh, it's okay. I will help you. I just need you to share your screen with me. I was like, you share your screen and show me. No, I, I just need you to share your screen with me. And I hung up. <laughs> I hung up in this hat. I, I wish I would have called him up. <laughs> but... <laughs> I, I didn't think about it. I wish I did. <laughs> so yeah, I like adjusted my whole schedule for today or for that call. I was like, well, there goes that. I, I don't know. It already seems sus to me anyway. I can usually tell. Jackpot. Yay, look at that. Another super chat from Anthony Garino with the 199 says, dumb question, favorite kind of Texas barbecue meat? That's not a dumb question. Definitely would be brisket. I just love a good smoked brisket. So good. But anyway, yeah, anybody who has Facebook pages, especially if they're sizable. Oh my gosh. See my page. Well, I used to have a million followers on it. Now it's at like 970,000 or something like that. I lost a lot of followers because I started posting stuff that made the troons mad. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I get a ton of people trying to scam me for my Facebook page constantly because a lot of these like people from India, they will get these pages and post a bunch of spammy video content on there with ads on it and make money off of them. They make, I don't know, they're able to make a lot of money off of Facebook pages. I don't, I have no idea. Like, I don't know. I, I think Facebook is a retarded platform. So, I mean, I used to stream there and I, I had a contract with them for two years and I streamed there while they were paying me. So it was like, okay, they were paying good too. Like they paid really good. Um, so I was like, all right. <laughs> so I did that for two years. And, um, but then after that second year, it was like, they were gonna talk about contract negotiations, but I already had friends who were in it and they already like lowered their contracts so much. And I was like, they're gonna lower my contract and I'm going to not be able to grow my platforms because for every year I'm on Facebook, that's a year I could be growing on other platforms. I was over it. I hated streaming there. It was just not good. So I didn't continue with them. Um, but yeah. Jackpot. Kratos L. Kratos with a $5 super chat says Kratos Indian. Kratos Indian IT services is not affiliated with Jackpot. that individual. <laughs> All right, Kratos. Oh, we got another Kratos? 
Kratos Raptor 85 with the $5 super chat says here to you, Mel, for dodging that scammer. All right. Thank you. Yeah, so anyway, that happened. So then I set up my Go XLR Mini. I made a couple videos, made a Bible time video and a um Go Boom video. I did some cleaning. I cleaned out my car, got all my trash out. So it was a productive day. <laughs> Isn't it El Gatos? <laughs> Kratos El Gatos. <laughs> it depends. When when we're salty with him, we'll call him Kratos El Gatos. <laughs> Judas says unblocked. I don't. It says it's your first time chatting, so I'd imagine you weren't blocked at all. I hate cleaning. Any tips to make cleaning not suck? Honestly, cleaning always sucks. Just put, put some music on. That helps. And it, once you're done, it's just like, okay, I did it. I did the thing. I feel great. That's just what you got to realize in life. Sometimes we got to do things we don't want to do. And you got to be able to persevere. And the thing is, is when it's done, though, that it feels good, man. Then it's like, all right. And plus, like, when it comes to cleaning, how miserable is it to be in a house that's not clean? You know, that's why I, like, made this rule. I'm like, I am doing my dishes before I go to bed every day. I will not leave dirty dishes in the sink. Um... Things like that. When you make rules like that, it helps. Um, Zorlag with a $5 super chat says, I had an Indian manager for two years and I developed a very nice Indian accent that I used to mock him <laughs> when he's not around because he's a deek. <laughs> That's funny. You know what's funny? I dreamed about blabs. I dream that me and Blabs went to Target. I never go to Target. But for some reason, I dreamed that me and Blabs went to Target. And we were, I don't, if like for some reason they moved our shopping cart. Oh, we filled up that shopping cart. They moved it and we had to go across to it. And then we were getting to the car and Blabs gets in the car first and she sat in the driver's seat in my car and I opened the door and we're like, I'm like, oh, you driving? Ha 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 ha. And then she's like, oh no, that was a mistake. And then she moves. <laughs> it was so random. I don't understand. Jackpot. Uh, raw room with the New Zealand $5 says in New Zealand, watching you make America great again Jackpot. with your epic American attitude. Thank you. Crispy Chicken with the $20 super chat says, please to be, oops, uh, to be not making the fun of Indian scammer. I mean, Indian legitimate salesman. <laughs> you are to be the rocking Melanie the Mac. Thank you, Crispy Chicken. Uh, we got Lucifer. Lucifer with the $5, Canadian $5. That says, calm that hair down, little missy. I, it is crazy today. Uh, I didn't put gel in it. Uh, I just, I did like curl cream and mousse. And oh my gosh, it's big hair today. No, if I put gel in it, it'll like tame it a little bit. But oh my gosh, but it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun having the big poofy hair today. <laughs> Look at that. Joseph Whitehouse, oh my gosh, you have just been dropping those 50s after one after another with the 50. Joseph says, you're here now. What? That's what matters. Loved the Resident Evil 5 video. Such a blast from the past. Great work. Thank you so much. Jackpot. You're amazing. 
Anthony with the 199 says, dare I say, I now despise SoCal and I'm from SB. Where's SB? Tokyo with the 199 says, dream car. Oh, we talked about this yesterday. My dream car would be a Hummer, a yellow Hummer. Even though I probably wouldn't enjoy driving it because it would be so big. But let's, I would settle for a yellow Jeep. <laughs> I was trying to move to keep the screen from going idle and it made me jump back. Douglas says, did you see my tweet, resp my response to your tweet yesterday? It's hilarious, especially third one. I don't know. I don't know if I saw it. I, truthfully, I get uh, bombarded by a bunch of troons and <laughs> so I miss a lot of mentions on there. I swear, one of these days, I'm gonna think I'm pushing that sensor button and I'm gonna say the gamer word on stream and it will not be good. Okay, let's um Jackpot. get the game going. <laughs> Tokyo Tower 2, thank you again. The gamer word, yes, the gamer word. Okay, hold on. I'm pretty sure those light on fire. Oh! <gasps> oh! It was a timed door. Was it that? Okay, hold on. Let me go back here first. Oh, there's those sharks right outside there. Hold on, I'm going to have a look around before I... Oh my gosh, there's just so many. I don't remember all this. Ooh, those things, I remember those. Uh, Anthony with the 199 says, SB is Santa Barbara, woke as heck. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. Kratos El Kratos with a $5 super chat says, well, it's a good thing I don't do anything to make you treat me salty, lol, yet. Dot, dot, dot. Also, the only reason to go to Austin is to get Black's Barbecue Brisket. Ooh, Black Barbecue Brisket Lives Matter. That sounds good. I love some brisket. I've, I've been to Austin a couple times or so, but I've never been there. Uh, I remember when I first went to Austin, when I was doing a, I was, I was at South by Southwest event, I was working there and I got the, there was this ice cream truck that had an ice cream sandwich and the wrapper was edible. <laughs> I remember that. Zorlag with the $5 super chat says, uncensored, you can use BTTF2 future slang. Trank, Jackpot. Slobos, and zip heads. And uh, we don't know exactly what they mean, but we also sort of do. <laughs> All right. No hitting a bit different button on accident that way. I swear if I end up doing that, oh crap. If I end up doing that, yeah, I'll get banned. <laughs> from Twitch at least, but okay, so it didn't Oh, that was this That was easy enough Uh, okay, make sure I didn't miss anything Jackpot! Oh, Barracuda! Pharaoh! Oh my gosh, this is where the shark is as well. I need harpoons. I think I'm out of harpoons. 
There it is, my precious! My precious. I love the jade statues. Those are my favorite of all the, the dragon statues. Oh, crap. Get out of my face, barracudas! Okay, so there's that. I also wonder if that opened another door out there because I can't remember Oh, someone's having trouble with kick chat. They give you this shortcut here. The fire is still going. Wasn't that? Okay. <laughs> Kick chat is delayed. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Wait. I think there was. Oh, that's. Wait. There we go. That's what it did. All right. It's probably timed. Tomb Raider 2 likes to make things tricky. They do not like to make your life easy. <laughs> we made it, fam. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Crap, crap, crap. Hold on. Let's do that again. I'm gonna save it here so that we'll, in case we need to retry it. Did you hear about the Red Rangers Hitler clothing line? Um, I did not. Uh, is it actually that or is it just woke people hating on him? Let's have a look at this. Um, Red Ranger Hitler clothing line. I do not want to click Kotaku. Um. Um. Oh, where's the... What if we... Oh, here we go. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Red Ranger actor has ruined our childhood by launching clothing line featuring Hitler quotes. I'm going to assume... Wait, is this Mighty Morphin? This ain't Mighty Morphin. It is? He's fat. <gasps> Bro, he got fat. I was like, that ain't him. He's fat. All right, let's see what he's got. Exploring history's leaders. I'm blending lessons from the past into a unique t-shirt line from heroes to villains. Every quote tells a story. This is more than fashion. It's a conversation starter. Stay tuned for wearable wisdom. Okay. Oh. Uh, can I see what the shirts are? Can we see what they are? And more in-depth plans. So I have some ranger-oriented clothes, and then I'm building a warrior line, he said. I will go back in history from pre-Greek days as far back as I can. I'm gonna have famous quotes from warriors of all ilks including the terrible ones hitler was you know a demon on steroids 
But he has some pretty good one-liners. So everybody from the great ones to the infamous and terrible ones. Okay. Well, uh, he does have a market with the queers for Palestine because those queers for Palestine are now saying, um, I've at least been seeing it on TikTok and elsewhere, are now saying that uh, Hitler was right. Weird timeline we're in. Complete So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's, uh... Yeah, he'll probably get some sales from some queers from Palestine. Jackpot. That's the thing is the queers for Palestine, they'll get mad if he has a quote from someone who was actually good. <laughs> That's, he's gotta be careful. All right, uh, let me look at these super chats I missed. Um, We've got Crispy Chicken with the $5 super chat says, funny story, my very first Yahoo email address password was T-R-T-I-V-A-A-C, which meant Tomb Raider, oh, Tomb Raider 4, or Tomb Raider, Two is very awesome and cool back in 1997 or so. Oh! T-R-T-I-V. Oh, okay. Oh, T Tomb Raider 2. Oh, oh, I got you. I was trying to look at Roman num numerals. That is so cool. All right. Uh, no Fs to Give became a member or was a member, has been a member for one month on YouTube. That's one month down. Loved your Go Boom video today. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Um, so yeah, anyway. <laughs> Funny stuff. Let me take one more drink of this and then we'll continue. Tomb Raider 2 does have some tricky traps and timed stuff and all that. The squid with the $5 super chat says, are you into zombie type games? uh because dying light is so far my favorite zombie game nice i do like uh resident evil games but i played the telltale walking dead first like two seasons and liked that as well i tried dying light i didn't give it enough of a chance though push-ups the two dollar super chat says that that ship gave me mega ptsd this ship <laughs> i swear oh they make it tricky for you Okay, let's, uh, let's try. So, man, I have died many a times on that fire. <gasps> well, crap. Surely I wasn't too slow. Why did that? Oh, we gotta wait. Gotta wait for this to go back. Oh, heck. Maybe there's another. I'm trying to remember if there are two switches you had to pull. Jackpot! Roth Hop! Thank you so much. Where is that? Why does it not show up on. Oh, here we go. Rothop, subscribe on Twitch. I somehow ended up with a Twitch gift card. Don't even remember how and forgot all about it until just the other day. Just wanted to drop in and make Twitch pay you. <laughs> Discovered you on Simpcast and I enjoy your YouTube videos and I'm glad you say what you think. And don't water it down to avoid taking heat. Thank you so much. You're amazing. The squid with the five dollar super chat. Oh wait, I already answered that. And the push-ups one. Okay. Thank you guys. All right. All right, here we go. Dragon with the 100 bits. Thank you so much. I need to watch that next time and just see if it works. That Then I'll know if I was too slow. 
it's still on. <gasps> there, I have to pull that switch. Okay, it's coming back to me. Oh my gosh, yeah, they make your life difficult on this level. <laughs> Wally with 100 bits, using up my last bits just in case. <gasps> Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised I didn't get banned yesterday or today. I thought for sure I would be banned today. I was like, there's no way I'm not gonna, gonna get banned because I uh, definitely was not politically correct. But alas, I'm here another day. Here till oh. the wheels fall off. Hey! <gasps> ah! I assumed that was gonna make that fire go down, so I just... Mm. I I ran before I Jackpot. acted. SK Demont, thank you for the prime sub at five months. And just Willcat, thank you for the prime sub. All right, guys. Banned for what? Well, reading the Bible on stream about <laughs> condemning people who like to do butt stuff. <laughs> of the alphabet community. So, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, we're okay. Uh, But yeah, I was surprised that they, which one did that open? <gasps> this one. Dude, I swear if it's time then I gotta do that all over again. Okay, we're safe, we're safe. Uh, one... One time at band camp with the $2 super chats as did Matt Walsh's take on games fill you with rage. I didn't even watch it. Cause I was like, I don't even, I just seeing the quote tweets and apparently he's saying that he was the first one to call out the corruption in video games or something. I was like, I can't, I can't even watch this. I'm gonna get mad. <laughs> Crispy Chicken with the $10 super chat says, I'm sure I missed it. Did you lock the old butler in the freezer like I used to on PS1? I did all the time back in the day, but I haven't on uh, the remasters yet because I haven't done uh, Croft Manor, uh, the Tomb Raider 2 Croft Manor yet. But it will happen. All right, so far so good. Oh my gosh, if I remember. If I remember, this is, I swear, this whole segment. Jackpot. <laughs> they don't like to make stuff easy on Tomb Raider 2 or 3, which is good. <laughs> but oh my goodness. Oh crap, that's right, I have to push two levers. So, okay, I'm probably gonna get burned up here since I took a second to look. <laughs> They're like, here you go, do all of this. Nice. Ah! Andrew Rob! <gasps> We're alive! Andrew Rob, thank you for gifting five subs on kick. You're amazing. Whew. We're alive. We're alive. Oh, joy. Did I save it? Uh, am I just saving it again? Oh, well. <laughs> Barracuda again. Oh, I don't have the harpoons for this. Oh my gosh. There's probably a secret. So oh, it closed. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Okay, 
Okay, that opens something down below. Huh? <gasps> There's a gold statue! A gold statue! Oh my gosh, and harpoons, but I'm dying! Oh crap! Okay, hold on, I have to think of my strategy for this. <sighs> All right, let's go. Just gotta streamline it. I want the... Okay, there it is, there it is. Pull it, pull it. I need the statue. It has to happen. Krista Nova, thank you so much for the raid on Kick. You're amazing. Thank you, girl. Hello, Krista Nova viewers. Yes, Web. Just subscribed on Twitch with the Prime sub. Thank you so much. Hold on, we're getting this. Okay. Turn around. We've got harpoons, too. We needed those badly. Very bigly did we need those. <sighs> okay. Gosh, we're running low on breath. <gasps> <gasps> oh, my gosh. Get through the water shaft in one breath with a gold dragon. Yay! I got an achievement. Yay, thank you again, Krista. Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh, that was stressful! But we got two statues now. Well, we're missing the, the stone one. Or did we get it? Why do I feel like I got the stone one? Not today. I think I got it... I wish I could see. I thought I got the stone one on yesterday's before I stopped the stream. I might be getting it mixed up though. But, cause I got the jade and I did before the, okay, good. So I got all of them. That's why I got all that ammo. Okay. All right. Push-ups with a $2 soap super chat says posting a question too long for super chat in chat. All right. I'll be looking out for it. Ooh, statistics will show you. I didn't even know that. How do you go to? Oh, that's just where you go to. I don't even know how to go to that. Okay, Pushup says, we had an interesting combo on Discord. I posted the theory that kosher diet became necessary because the immune system of the Israelites had changed during their 40 years in the desert. Thoughts? Oh, that's a good theory. My personal opinion is that the kosher system is because both A, healthier food, and B, um, in general, it really is, and B, also, for the morality of it, when it comes to, like, not not eating a, a baby animal and its mother's milk, I mean, that's just common decency. But in terms of the clean and unclean foods, like, when you actually look at the foods, they, the, the like, a cow has multiple stomachs, a filtration system, that is a clean animal. Pigs are not clean. Pigs are dirty scavenger animals. So they're not as healthy as a cow. Um... So, I mean, that's just, yeah, plain and simple is it's scavenger types. It's dirtier animals that that uh, the kosher, like what the ceremonial law um, didn't have them eat. And while ceremonial law, when you really unpack it, um, was purification. I mean, they had to bury their poop and stuff. So it was purification purposes. They had to be physically as clean as possible. And so eating um foods from scavengers and stuff that's not clean food um like a cow is 
so um that was most of the gist of most of ceremonial law apart from i mean there were some other elements like um the they weren't supposed to the men weren't supposed to shave the sides of their hair they weren't supposed to um they weren't supposed to cut their beards and they also weren't supposed to have markings of the dead. Now, I know that's like uh, some people debate about tattoos and all that kind of stuff, which um, I believe that that probably also counted as tattoos as well, because they were supposed to be as pure and clean as possible. Um, so the things like cutting your hair or getting a tattoo isn't a sin isn't described as sin in the bible it was just because they had to go through these very specific purification practices and i, I believe with the uh, with the hairstyles the hair and beard styles and the no tattoos it was so this is um from what i've researched of it was so they wouldn't look like the pagans it was so they would have their distinct look um that would be different so there's my take on ceremonial law in general, including the food stuff. Um, but yeah, I, th I truly think, I know a lot of people think it's just cooking standards, immune systems, but even if you look at the foods that are listed as clean and unclean, those are still clean and unclean foods. Pig is technically not clean. It's a scavenger animal. It doesn't have the filtration system that a cow does. Granted, it's not going to kill you to eat it. And uh, we're not under ceremonial law anymore. But the absolute cleanest foods you can eat in terms of meat is ruminant meats. Um, like all, all of the clean meats in the Bible. That, that's one thing that I don't get how, how there can be atheists. Because even when it comes to talking about clean and unclean meats... That still stands scientifically. Thunder Turtle with the 499 says, can you think of any Bible people who need a cool action game? Oh, Joshua. Joshua would be fine. If you would need, or you would do like a series because like if you're gonna have a full-fledged video game, you need Joshua, you need Samson. Um, you can even add David in there. Yeah, that'd be fun. BC with the 199 says, Ever play Fighting Force by Eidos. Good PS1 64 game. I have not. Okay. What do you think of the Seventh Day Adventists? I don't know that much of them, but what I do know, I don't like. <laughs> They were like pushing the vegan crap and stuff. Um, yeah, that's all I know about that. Interesting. Look how like amazing. Okay. Adios with a $5 super chat says favorite Tony Hawk game. Mine is American Wasteland. Pigs can carry a brain eating parasite, by the way. Oh, snap. Uh, my favorite Tony Hawk game is probably Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. That's the one I played the most. I loved it. Kratos, oh, Kratos with a $5 super chat. Where did you stop in Leaf Green, by the way? I'm at Lieutenant Surge in Fighter Red. Uh, I stopped after... I didn't get that far. Um, I didn't get that far before I took a break. But I got the... I got the badge from Brock. And I've been training my, my Wigga Yank Mankey. Um, yeah, I've just been... After I got that badge, I've just been leveling up my Pokemon. So I've been... Leveling up my Wigga. I've been leveling up... What did I name my Pikachu? I can't remember. Leveling up my Pikachu. Yeah, I've just been doing that. 
Uh, the prodigal heel with the $5 super chat says, so I think you tend to lean apostate a bit more. I don't really know what that means. Let me see. A person who renounces a religious or political belief or principle. Uh, I'm definitely religious. I'm a Christian. I don't, I know there's some people that say, it's not religion to me. It's a personal relationship with God. Like it's, it's by definition a religion to be Christian. And that's not a bad thing. Religion isn't bad if it's the right one. So apostate means you left your religion. I didn't. <laughs> I mean, I went through a brief period of leaving my faith, but that wasn't that long. And I came back. Uh, another $2 super chat. So do you identify yourself more of a Zionist? Oh my gosh. I'm not about to open up that can of worms. I do support Israel because I believe based on what the Bible says, uh, Israel is God made a covenant with Israel and I will support them because um, God will bless those who bless Israel and curse those who curse Israel. Um, yeah. So that's where I stand. But I ain't trying to have a knockout, drag out argument in the chat about it. You guys can believe what you want, have your opinions on what you want. Oh! See? That super chat did all that. Look at what you did! <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to be careful if I laugh too much. It. Ah! That is the one problem with these headphones is I feel like they're a little bit big for my ears. Ow. So if I laugh, it, it hurts my ears. Heck. <laughs> okay, so we have this, but we also have this. Crispy Chicken with the $10 super chat says, Christ came and fulfilled the law, but that doesn't mean the Old Testament law is not necessary to keep you well. Some of the Old Testament laws are still beneficial even if they're not forced under Christ's uh, admonitions. I agree. I agree with that thousand percent. And that's why I started eating kosher. It's because I was like, well, we're not biblically, we're not obligated to eat that way. Well, I, I say kosher. I eat biblical because like, Kosher, they are a little more strict. They won't even mix cheese and meat in general because they take it a little too far. Um, the Bible just says don't eat a baby animal in its mother's milk. But if it's another animal's milk, I don't think that that counts. So other than that, yeah, I, I eat according to the clean and unclean. Now, I in my day to day, every once in a while, I won't. Like every once in a while, I'll have some shrimp. I haven't had pork in a really long time though. But every once in a while, I'll have some shrimp or oysters, but it's not that common. It's very rare. But I do that because I'm like, well, if God told the Israelites that, it probably was for a good reason for their health. So I'm going to do it. And so I thought it would be a lot more difficult because like I do carnivore diet. Y'all know this. And I thought like, man, carnivore without bacon, without pork, that would be tough. But uh, it's not. It's not as tough as I thought. And I actually just, I feel great just eating beef and chicken, essentially. Some fish, the clean fish. But yeah, eating just the biblically clean foods. I feel good. Like, I haven't really missed bacon that much. You can have beef bacon, turkey bacon, which I know turkey bacon isn't as good. But yeah, I've, I've been good with it. But yeah, that's one of those things that, because I've like, talked with my family about it too because like they have to, like when i'm visiting family and stuff i need options like if they're all eating pork or something i need options that aren't that um and i'm just like yeah this is why i'm doing it and they don't but i do so it's like hey if people don't want to have to stick to that that's fine but i like to 
Um, heck, I can't even get up here. Let's see. Let me think. Um, let me make sure what else I missed. Thunder Turtle with a five dollar super or with the one ninety nine super chat says headphones should not hurt that much. I swear. I love these things, but sometimes if I laugh really hard and it squeezes my ears against the plastic parts, it hurts. I gotta, I gotta adjust them. That's my only, I love these headphones though. The sound is great, but I think my ears are just too small. A little too small for them. Uh, all right, the squid with the $5 super chat says best kosher food is the Reuben sandwich created in New York, I believe. So there was some kosher restaurant options. Interesting. Um, the prodigal heel with the $2 super chat says God made a covenant with Abraham, not Israel. Look, I'm not going to debate with you on that. Um, God made a covenant with Abraham and his descendants and, you know, with Israel. <laughs> um, Israel are Abraham's descendants. <laughs> but yeah, we're not going to argue about that on stream. You believe what you want. I would encourage you to read your Bible. I'm reading mine. Pray that God um, will show us the truth. Crispy Chicken with a $10 super chat says, but bigger picture pork slash selfish is not a sin slash moral issue jesus saves as long as you believe even if you eat pork and selfish exactly that is true that is true um tom berry master says if god did not want to see a pig a pig would not be edible fact <laughs> well i don't necessarily agree with that um it's funny it's a funny saying but um yeah i think there's foods that are technically edible that god considers unclean and it probably for our own good would be best not to eat such things but but yeah <laughs> but yeah people are i mean people eat pork and they're fine but i do think that it's not as healthy and it's technically not a clean food it's a scavenger so but again like it's not going to affect people's salvation so you do you Okay. Um, James Hurley says, what's better, pork or chicken? I mean, in terms of cleanliness, chicken. Chicken is a clean animal, pork is not. But if you mean what tastes better, I would still say chicken. Thunder with the 199 says, your brother thinks poop is edible. <laughs> I love that joke. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Okay, I gotta figure out what the crap to do. So I can't jump up on that thing. This whole area, there's a lot of get lo getting lost segments here. I wanna say, I can't remember, but I wanted to, I thought this area filled with water or something at some point. Well, we just, yeah, there's nothing we can do here. So I gotta look around it. Okay. Ooh, wait, is this where I came from though? Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, 
Oh, so that's I'm trying to jump up here and that's just what this is. Okay, let me think. Let me think. <gasps> Pretty sure lamb is ruminant meat. You're right, it is. They chew cud and have split hooves. Shark Khan with a $10 super chat says, Proverbs 31, 25, she is clothed with strength and dignity and she laughs without fear of the future. Yes. A strong woman. Push-ups with a $2 super chat says, you worked at a den of sins. Red lobster repent. <laughs> that was the worst. That was not a good job. Mm. I think it would have been fine if they like... It would have been, I mean... It would have been fine if it... Oh crap, I actually unplugged these. It would have been fine if it wasn't for... That dude... Um. Actually, if yeah, if it wasn't for that dude... Well, if it wasn't for that, and if it wasn't for them, like, giving me inconsistent hours, like, okay, you come in at this time, or I come in for my shift, and some days, I don't know, am I going to work 12 hours today? Am I only going to work one hour? Like, it just wasn't consistent enough, so. Dude, yeah, didn't, I told the story about that. I do not want to tell that story again. You know, you were there. I mean, you weren't there at Red Lobster, but you were there when I told the story. <laughs> Johnny says, I'm so happy to hear Melanie keeping kosher. Thank you. Like I said, I haven't been perfect. Like every once in a while, like every couple months, sometimes like if my mom is, because I don't think my mom, because mom knows I'm doing kosher, but I don't think she realizes shrimp isn't kosher. So like if I'm going to visit, sometimes she'll cook someone with shrimp in it. And so it's like, she knows to make me kosher food in general, but she... <laughs> She, she, I think she doesn't know uh, that shrimp isn't kosher. And so, usually, now it's funny because if it's pork, it's like, I don't like to eat pork at all. But shrimp, every once in a while, I will if mom prepares it. But yeah, for the most part, though, in my day to day, I'm really, yeah, I very rarely eat anything that's not kosher. Oh, we got. Fear the Tardo in chat with the $5 super chat. Hi, Remedy Mac. Are hands tired? Because been walking in Tardo's dreams all night. Wait, should have said fruit feet, no hand. Tardo, not good at this. Lock it in, yay. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And Conductor Jackson with the 100 bits says, random question. Has anyone seen the movie Cabrini yet? If not, you should... You have to see it. It's a great movie. I have not seen it, no. Okay, hold on. Let's... I gotta... Okay, so that one thing, I feel like... There's gotta be something here that I have to do. Let me not slip in to my demise again. <gasps> We're okay. Didn't I go there before though? I just don't see why I would need to go back there. Uh... Hey, thank you so much, Spartan Joystick, for the sub on Twitch. I feel like there was water or something I had to fill up in that other room. <gasps> that 
that door open, but what? How can I get in there? Hmm. All this food talk's making me hungry, that's all I know. <laughs> Those, um, oops. Those beef patties I had. Oh my gosh. That's like my go-to now whenever I'm not cooking at home is those Sonic beef patties with cheese. So good. I, it's, I don't know how they do it, but it's like, for me, it's crispy on the outside and just juicy. So good. But, um, but I'm, I... Bought some meat from a local farmer. Like, I went halvesies with mom and dad on half a cow. I got mine ground up, though. I just like ground beef. I like to keep it simple. I just eat ground beef. Um, so, I'm excited to try that. Because he makes... Because usually, you know, it's encouraged to get grass-fed, grass-finished, but I don't like the taste of grass-fed, grass-finished as much. I feel like it's gamey. Sometimes I like it, but sometimes it just has this gamey taste that I don't like. Well, this farmer, he does grass-fed, grain-finished, so I'm excited to try that. I think I'll like it better, so I'm gonna... So yeah, I'll just cook my own like burger patties with cheese and eggs. L I love burger patties with eggs and cheese, of course. Oh my gosh, here we go. See, that's a ladder right there, but how? Ugh, I've been stuck on here before. <laughs> I, I couldn't remember. I felt like you filled this room with water, but maybe not. See, that's also a ladder, which if hypothetically, I remember just, oh, this is gonna go bad. That just is not right. There's no way. Come on! Let's figure out how to fill up this place with water or something. I don't think there's anything up there I gotta do because I pulled that one lever. Oh, you know what though? I bet if I unpull this, maybe it'll put some rubble. Oops, crap. Well, crap, it didn't change nothing. I, I mean, it makes sense that it wouldn't. How are you gonna undo all that rum rubble? But I was hoping, I was secretly hoping. Uh, crap, crappity crap, crap. Uh. 
No, Lara's not wearing shoes. Because she got here through a submarine. She just put on this scuba suit and held her breath and grabbed onto a submarine that was moving down underwater. She's like, all right, let's go, YOLO. Okay, so I can't go back where I came from up there. Oh, I'm trying to sneeze right now. Okay, hold on, though. What about this? Oh, is that... Yeah, that's not even climbable. Interesting. Thunder Turtle, the 199 says, this level is not streamer friendly. <laughs> a lot of classic Tomb Raider isn't, unless you're, unless you're a and you use guides. Douglas says, if it makes you feel better, Mel, with you eating butter, sometimes I take a plate of shredded cheese and melt it in the microwave and eat it. Although, that's way more unhealthy than butter. Just be careful that I've had some of the worst, like, stomach pains from doing that. <laughs> there was one time I just put a ton of shredded cheddar in a bowl and melted it in the microwave and just ate it. And oh my gosh, I got so bloated and... Uh, I had I had issues with that. <laughs> Dad gum it. It hurt like I was in pain. I think yeah, so just be careful. <laughs> Vault with the eight dollar super chat says, if you were to sum up what made classic Tomb Raider so compelling for you, what would you say? And how are they different from the reboots? Okay. Well, what made classic Tomb Raider so compelling for me? Uh, well, obviously, Lara Croft, I just loved her as a character ever since I saw her when I was a kid. I was like, she is so cool. I just was obsessed. So I liked her as a character. Um, and then also the gameplay, I just loved it. It's very old school classic Tomb Raider is very puzzle based, very, um, you know, while there is some action and stuff, the main focus is on the exploration and the puzzles. It's an actual adventure. Um, and it makes you think, you gotta figure your way out of things, like like I am right now. Even as much as I played Tremere 2, there's still some stuff you forget. And you get stuck on things. Um, and it's, yeah, it's very, it's a challenge. It's, but it's fun and you feel very accomplished whenever you get past a difficult part um and what makes what makes the classics so different from the reboots is first of all the reboots changed lara croft as a character dramatically in her looks in her motivations in her backstory she's just not the same person classic lara croft was disowned by her parents for not um for not moving forward with an arranged marriage. She chose a life of adventure. Um, she's a very act first, think later type character. She's very rambunctious. She's very rebellious. She's a very anti-hero type character. She's fueled by her own selfish motivations. Um, she's a grave robber. Like she does, she has no hex to give. She is just a troublemaker. And that's so fun about her. And then you have the reboot Lara, who is scared all the time, who cares so much about what other people think about her. She's got to be a hero. She's got to um, do the right thing. 
this that and the other um so her mo and then she's following the footsteps of her father even though that changed the backstory where he was disowned her in the classics um and so there's that then the gameplay is just like uncharted it it's just action cover shooter the tombs are optional the traversal isn't intuitive like classic tomb raider with the acrobatics the um yeah the very dynamic uh traversal system that plays a huge part of the game you have to actually use your brain and think and plan ahead and so that's not a thing with it the reboots are just they're just glorified action games um but they're not they're not tomb raider games they, they're just not uh old renaissance of the 199 says yay two nights in a row remedy max stream live thank you kongzilla kongzilla with the 99 dollar 99 cent super chat holy moly kongzilla says hi mel i'm at I'll get to that in one second. Kongzilla says, hi, Mel. I'm at a hockey game in Pitt. Had to drop by and say hello. Crazy day. Lol, have fun. Thank you so much, Kongzilla, for the wombo, wombo, wombo super chat. I hope you're having fun. Um, and then to answer uh, Girthy's question, thank you for the resub uh, about a watch party. We'll see. Uh, I haven't done that in a long time, but that was funny when we watched Dweegans. <laughs> That was great. Okay, this is... I need there, but obviously that would be not good. So we know the texture's on the wall. Ugh, we can't monkey climb yet. Those aren't climbable. What the freaking crap, dude. I'm pretty sure I need to fill this place with water. Oops. I don't remember how. Okay, let's think. Let's think. Okay, so I tried pulling that switch again. It didn't do anything. It didn't change the rubble uh, layout. I... It's the upstairs one that opened that door. We need that there. Let's look at this in old graphics just to like jog our memory. Okay, so going up there will take us back up, which we don't need to do, I don't think. Um, let me make sure with this box. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Hmm. That's just for kicks and giggles. Yay, the amazing Mikey with the 100 bits. Hello, you look amazing. Thank you, it's so nice of you. Thank you so much. Okay, let's have a look. Path or pens one six three, but I was at a high school state semifinal. Our team is playing for a state championship. I'm usually at pens games though. Okay, love that. Uh, that didn't do anything. Pulling that lever again. Okay, door is still open. Okay, I'm going back. 
going back upstairs to investigate more with that because I've just looked all over down here. Thunder Turtle with the 499 says, did you ever watch Doomsday with Rona Mitra and Bob Hoskins in 2008? She could have been a great movie Lara as well. I haven't seen that. No, but I do think she would have made a good Lara Croft. She went all vegan and kind of crazy. <laughs> all right. Um. I've got to investigate more up here because, but I don't understand the reason for all this other than that they want you to fall down and die, which that is something that the devs liked to do. Okay, so there is no... There is no going back up here. Hold on, I gotta look at this with old graphics and see if I remember anything. Um, Mark, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Digging the Motley Crew hair today. <laughs> thank you. All right, let's see. So I looked at... That's where I came from over there. Okay. <laughs> Dude. Definitely don't want that closed. Kratos El Gratos with a $5 super chat says, willing to bet one or both of your bros liked watching you play this back then, assuming they weren't playing it themselves. Any fun stories? Oh yeah, my brothers and I played so much Tomb Raider together. We would take turns. We'd take turns playing, like, and then we'd watch each other play. It was a blast. So much fun. Tomb Raider 1 took us, like, I mean, we're kids at that time. It took us, like, 10 months. I think it was 10 months. Now, we did take some breaks and play other games in between, but we played it a lot. Like, we didn't use guides. We did not. We refused to use guides. Um... Hey, Mike Noss, thank you for gifting a sub on kick. Oh my gosh, I have so many people ask me to play Helldivers 2. I don't know. We'll see. I'll look into it. It's not really my... I don't know. We'll see. I don't... I, don't, I, I was going to say it's not really my type of game, but I don't really even know what type of game it is, truthfully. Oh! Ah! Dude. Like, why? I just looked at everything I could possibly do. Push-ups with a $2 super chat. By the way, you're coming up on Psalm 42.1, which inspired AA. AA? What is AA? Hold on, let me see. What about this? Did I not go up here? 
Oh my gosh, I swear if it was just something like that this whole time I just missed. <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh. There was another area. I didn't see. There you go. That's Tomb Raider for you. <laughs> Okay, let's figure out how to navigate this. There we go! I'm pretty sure it fills up with water or something. Yep. Well, there you go. The Mad Frenzy said came here for the Jesus vibes. Yay! I love that. Yep, until Twitch bans me again for the for the Jesus vibes. I spent, uh, you know, I've been stuck on that before so many times. Just overlooking that, hey, there's another area here. But that's what I love. That's what I love about classic Tomb Raider is you can get lost. You can get stuck. Oh, hold on. Did I just hear a scuba diver? Hold on, let me save it. And then... We'll get the harpoon out. There he is! I knew I heard him. Miss me! Ow. Ah! It's kicking my butt. <sighs> Aim at him, Lara. Ow! Ah! <sighs> What a jerk! What's that sound? <gasps> ah! Let's get our shoddy out. Oh my gosh! That dude had a shotgun just waiting. Wow. What a f oh. ah! Try to take him out with the pistols. Ah! Well. Okay, got him. Let's get the shotgun on hand ready to go when we get there. Whew, okay, here we go.
Those jerks, dude. So this guy had uh -huh. shotgun shells for me. And this one has a medipack. Uh -huh. Did I see DJ Cobra talking about Matt Walsh? I saw his tweet. I liked it. Guys, look. We got all the secrets! How fun. Oh my gosh! I hate those dudes so much. Another one? I'm just gonna try to avoid them for now. Because I do not feel like wasting harpoons on them. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, those fall, but I don't remember. <gasps> Seriously? <gasps> what a jerk! Wreck of the Maria Doria. Classic. <gasps> oh my gosh, I remember this. Look how good it looks. save it yet. Oh my gosh! Oh! <gasps> gosh, that was a fight. Uh -huh. We just had pistols. Goodness. <sighs> okay, let's think for a second. That's too high to jump up there. I love the atmosphere in Tomb Raider 2. So good. Okay, we can't get a jump up there. The fire, obviously. Oh yeah, this is where we put those one keys in there. Tom Berry Massa with the 50, the $50 super chat says some stream support. Thank you so much, you're amazing. Thank you. 
Okay, yeah, we need the keys in there, and then we need to push that over there. I remember, as a kid, my brothers and I struggled on this level so hard. Um... All right, let me continue. All right, so we will remember. We will remember to go back here. I want to say there was a custom fan level, like, um, Tomb Raider community level that I played as well that had a similar atmosphere as, uh, Wreck of the Maria Doria. It was so good! I forgot what it was called, but I streamed it. Wait, hold on, actually, we're gonna do... A little sidestep here. Oh, now we're... My brothers and I, I remember we'd be stuck on something like this and like I said, there was no, it was not, no guides. Dude, who is this? Hold on, let me unfriend this person. I used to friend a lot of people from like my old Halo streams and stuff, but I'm gonna unfriend that person because I don't even know who they are and they're gonna do that right when I'm... Where is that person? How do you unfriend someone on here? Let me see, if you go... Okay. Who was that? They're not showing as... Oh, wait. Here he is. All right. Like, what the freaking crap? Remove friend. Okay. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my brothers and I, we would just be. Is that. Oh, another one! We would be running around. I remember just spinning hours running around trying to find where to go I was like oh, I can't figure it out next person run around for hours we could be stuck <sighs> for days on some of these levels and we still committed to it that's how gaming is supposed to be not this look up a guide thing I would not call myself a gamer I know this like makes a lot of people mad but I'm just being truthful I would not call myself a gamer if I if I looked up guides to get through games. Now, if you're looking up Oh. Now, if you're looking up something like in a Dark Souls game or something you're looking up different builds and stuff you want to try or you're looking up like strats to beat a boss, I don't think that's egregious, but whenever you're playing a game and it's like, "Oh, you have to pull this lever. You have to go here. This is how you navigate out here. 
No. It's like, are you even a gamer? If you can't beat games? Back in the day, we wouldn't call those real gamers. Or maybe they'd be put in the casual category. But yeah, I wouldn't call myself a gamer if I did that. Like, what's the difference between just watching someone else do it? You're not actually doing it on your own. So I don't think people who use guides are real gamers. Like, okay, they might enjoy doing that, but they're not technically, they're not real gamers. And again, this makes people mad, but it is what it is. Like, we have to start setting standards for this stuff because otherwise video games get messed up and ruined. For those of us who want to actually play video games, we get the experience ruined because they cater to these people who use guides and who don't even like playing video games. If you need a guide, you don't like playing video games. Point blank, you don't. You like watching it happen while you do nothing. <laughs> Again, that's probably gonna make people mad, but hey, just saying. I just think it's quite simple. People who use guides don't like playing video games. You know? <laughs> Yes, figure it out yourself. Heck. Now, if you've already beat a game and then you want to go back and get collectibles, like the Batman Arkham games, it's like, okay, I want to get all the riddles. After you've already beat it and then you want to look up where the riddles are, I don't, I don't get, like, I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily, because you already beat the game. But the, oh, I'm stuck on this puzzle. I need to find out what to do. You don't like video games if you don't like figuring it out. Thunder Turtle with the 199 says the Tomb Raider Phantom gets macked. Oh, that was it. You're right. That was so fun. Yes, complete it all yourself. That's the reward. Exactly. Matt Walsh is looking like a real retard on Twitter. Oh no, is he doubling down? He needs to take the L, dude. Just take the L. <laughs> what if you ask help from a friend? Same thing, same difference. If you can't beat something and you have to have someone tell you what to do, do you enjoy video games? Like, why not freaking just play? I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I would rather, if I'm, if I'm on a game and I'm stuck and I'm not enjoying being stuck, I would rather not play the game anymore at all than look up a guide to show me how to do it. Because a game like this, I can be stuck on Tomb Raider for, I don't even freaking care, days. I will still keep trying to figure it out. What's the rush? Why do you have to beat games in a week? Like, why can't you take your time on it? I don't care if it takes you 100 hours. If that's what it takes to figure out the puzzles, what's wrong with that? People just, like, society has just catered to people who don't work for stuff. They all, they want all these, like, Rewards all these benefits without working for it Same with video games and stuff like that with all kinds of things It's just like people are so they only care about the dopamine hit They don't care about what it takes to get there. So that's why a lot of people are addicted to things a lot of people rely on on substances struggle with things a lot of people are obese for this same thing reason because it's like oh yummy food dopamine 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 yummy dopamine or people being like i got twitch will ban me again people being sleeping around being promiscuous dopamine 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 it's just brainless brainless 
degeneracy. Have some discipline in your life. That's why the Bible tells us these things. Should listen. So yes, stop using guides on your games. <laughs> or you're not a real gamer. Point blank. You're not a real gamer. Oh, I need a key. Look how good this looks. Now, if you want to try to exploit a game with glitches, go for it. That's fun. My brothers and I did that. I was like, on one of these sections, we go in the corner like that and try to glitch it. That's fun. Try to find glitches. <laughs> Hey, Smooth Gamers, thank you so much for the three months subbed on Twitch. Am I a Dallas Stars supporter? I don't freaking even know. Is that, a, is that hockey or something? I don't really like Dallas teams. I, I follow Pittsburgh teams usually. Even though I've never lived there, but I'm a Steelers fan and I just prefer to be Pittsburgh team fan. Tom Barry Master says, for a first playthrough, I use no guide, but for second playthrough for completion, I say go ahead. I agree with that. That's that's fine. Evan with the 999 super chat says, when my sister died, I strayed from the path for a long time. Seeing you talk about your faith so passionately has helped me. Restoring my faith has helped me immensely. You have my thanks and support. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine how hard that would be to go through. But I am so glad to see that you've found your way again. Um, you know, for whatever it's worth, uh, there's a Bible verse that says sometimes when when people die early it's god uh it's god rescuing them taking them away from future pain or struggles or hardships that they would have had to endure otherwise that we don't know about and um i lost a couple family members um extended family members the past few months couple months and i just remember just remember that that's what helps give me peace but all right. Where are you? Ah! Dude, that's so scary. <gasps> ah! No, he's got a shotgun. Oh my gosh. That's scary. Flares? Uh huh. Uh huh. Look how he's got the... Oh, yeah, that's how he looked. Does he look like his ner muscles got a little nerfed? Yeah, his muscles got a little nerfed. Um, He did look a little more swole in these graphics. But I'll forgive it, I guess. <laughs> <gasps> wow! Oh my gosh, now I gotta do this again. <sighs> Let's use some heavy firepower. Some Uzis. There we go. Kratos L. Kratos with a $10 super chat says, solving puzzles by getting answers from others is like letting someone play the game for you and you just hold the controller for end credits. Remember, getting older siblings to help you beat a boss? <laughs> it is like that. It's like, do it yourself. I think when you're a little kid and you're 
brain hasn't fully developed and stuff. Yeah, sometimes you need your older sibling to help. But I think now, now I'm not discouraging a good single player round robin with loved ones. That's fun. Where it's like, I beat many games that way with my brothers. Where it's like, here, you play for a couple hours. And after about an hour or two, then you hand the controller to your sibling to play. And then so on and so forth. And the other sibling... That could be fun. And you're experiencing the game. And you're still, like, interacting. and Yeah, that can be really fun. So I don't discourage that. I, I highly, highly... Uh, encourage if you can play games with your family members single player games like that it's fun do it that is like the most fun i've ever had playing video games is it was beating games with my brothers like that okay i gotta figure out how to get Oh, hold on. There is this... Oh! Oh, dear! Got the key. Uh -huh. Yeah, I miss some good old split screen gameplay. Like whenever games had co-op, some actual really good couch co-op. Man, those were the days. So rare now, but I remember Time Splitters, even Resident Evil 5, playing that with my brother, the Gears games. Um, lo we loved, loved, loved some co-op games. We also played a ton of Crash Team Racing. Like, a ton of Crash Team Racing. We'd do battle modes with bob bombs only, and man, that was a blast. Nathaniel with the 499 says we need to gatekeep everybody that's calling everything pornographic out of our hobbies. Yeah, I mean, I don't like actual pornographic stuff in our hobbies, so I would... But if it, but if they say that just a character that looks beautiful like Lara Croft here, when they call that pornographic, that's just retarded. Especially since those same people are the degenerates who like, um, who look at Rule 34 corn all the time or do this furry gay corn. So it's like, then, but they want to tell us that a character like Lara Croft is, it's just stupid, makes no sense. All right. Me, be careful, because they like to put bad guys everywhere. Oh, heck. Well, he's just a wrench guy. Got any drops for me, my dude? No. Oh! Gotta figure out how to get up there, though.
Oh, bob bomb. You're right. I don't think they were called bob bombs in Crash Team Racing. It was just bombs. Bombs only. I'm getting that mixed up with Mario. Thunder Turtle with the 199 says, have you ever gone scuba, scuba diving with a shotgun? <laughs> I have not. Only in Tomb Raider. Hmm. <laughs> But yeah, on Crash Team Racing, the bombs had like physics. Like if you could do a one of those boosts, like still sliding, you could curve the bomb and what direction it would go. That's what made it so fun is you could have trick shots out the wazoo. But then Crash Nitro Kart comes out and the bombs only shoot straight. It was so stupid. The biggest bomb nerf. It ruined everything, because we would just have bombs only. We'd be sliding around everywhere, doing trick shots like crazy. Couldn't do that on Nitro Kart. Let's get our shoddy out. Oh uh, yeah, the Crash Team Racing remake is really good. I quite enjoy it. Nothing? That's Pooch with a $10 super chat. Thank you so much. Has agreed 100% on lack of discipline as a big problem today. I grew up in the 80s. It was shocking to see the change in the 90s and 2000s. One step along the way with Mayoist revolution. I don't know what that means. It must be reversed. Things have gone crazy because like, I mean, it's insane now because... Thank you, Krusty D. Dingus, for 22 months. Because, yeah, I think in the 90s, it was better than, way better than now. I'm a big fan of the 90s, though. But, yeah, I know Gen Xers are built different. Gen Xers are cool. They don't get offended easily. And millennials, it's the older millennials. They aren't bad. It's the younger millennials and... That the younger millennials seem to be the worst. And then Gen Z is kind of hit or miss. Like, you will either have the most woke, queer for Palestine, Gen Z person, or you will... Some Gen Z people are based, though. So it's kind of a mixed bag. I think, especially with the boys, I think a lot of the Gen Z dudes are leaning more conservative. He's referring to the cultural revolution in China. Okay, I don't really know what that is. I'm just a girl. <laughs> Jack says, I don't know what generation I am. I was born in 91, so I'm guessing X. No, you would be a millennial. I was born in 86, and I'm a millennial. Das Pooch with the $5 says, lol. Moist, as in Chairman Mo, Mao, Maoist. 
who wrote this playbook in his revolution in China. Okay. Thank you. Uh, push-ups with... Did I miss push-ups? Yeah, with the $5 says a slight disagreement. Don't baby down the games, but the point of playing games is to have fun. That's gay. That is so gay. If someone finds a part annoying, I won't shame them for guys. I, okay. I think that is pure <laughs> That is always... Games are supposed to be for fun. If I'm not having fun, I'm going to cheat. Get good. Get good, you baby. If, ha if having a challenge isn't fun, then get freaking good, bro. That's my take on it. Bunch of pansies. Then you don't enjoy video games. If you don't have fun playing video games, if you don't have fun with a challenge, then you don't enjoy video games. Plain and simple, you're not a gamer. So why cater to the people who don't enjoy video games? <clears throat> Get good. Uh, crap, wait a minute. I thought that was gonna... Well, I don't even think I had to do all that. I thought I was gonna be able to move this over, but oh well. Guys, I can't sit here and give you all trivia about- Okay, there we go. Everybody knows the generations they can help in chat. Because <laughs> I don't know where every generation starts and ends. I couldn't tell you. 86, so you're 38. No, I'm not 38 yet. I'm 37 until November. Till late November. Hamburgers or hot dogs? I I well, I'm carnivore, so I would go with burger patty. I love burger patties. If they're cooked right, so freaking I could I could eat burger patties every single day. Girls don't know Mao or the generations. Exactly. I'm just a girl. <laughs> Oh, a key. Uh -huh. <gasps> How much longer are you planning on doing the carnivore diet? Forever? <laughs> It's been four and a half years for me and I felt so amazing on it. So yeah, unless there's something else I haven't tried that would make me feel better, which I don't know what that could possibly be, uh, then yeah, I plan on staying carnivore forever. Oh, there's a switch. I love it. People are like, is carnivore hard? No, I eat meat and cheese and eggs every day. So freaking good. Don't go vegan. I've done that before. I did go vegan before and I never felt more ill in my life. So I was like, heck that. Once I started feeling like my, I was getting like brain zaps. It's so hard to explain, but I was, and I was just, I was like, couldn't even get out of bed because of the <laughs> mental anguish I was feeling. And I was like, this isn't normal. This is not normal. I was already feeling like weak and all that stuff physically. But once I started getting those mental effects, I was like, that's it. 
I was like bed rotting, just not being able to get out of bed because I was struggling mentally so bad. So I was like, welp. I got up and cooked me some eggs and bacon that exact day. It's like, I'm done. No more vegan for me. Heck that. Push-up says, love you right back. <laughs> Thank you, push-up. Like nervous jolts? Not nervous. It was like I was getting actual brain zaps. Like I felt like my brain was like electrical currents were pulsing in my brain. It was it's hard to explain it. I don't really know how, but that's what it felt like periodically. And then, uh, yeah, it was awful. I hated it. I was just like, well, there goes that. I'm done. Now, some people are too stubborn to admit when they were wrong. So they'll be vegan and age themselves 500 years. I only did streak, strict, the longest I did strict vegan was three months. After that, I was like, heck that. I'm not, I'm not gonna like freaking hurt my body doing this. I don't, yeah, I will swallow my pride and say I was wrong. I don't even freaking care, but I will not. Yeah, I just was not gonna do that. Um, so pe some people though, they will watch their bodies deteriorate and would, they would rather not be considered wrong. Then they're, they're too prideful to, to actually eat some meat. So they'll get sick. It's like insane. Oh, hold on. What they don't tell you is that they are taking supplements to get the nutrients they're not getting. Exactly. I had to take B12. And every vegan has to take B12 supplement. And it's like, well, how is vegan good for you then if you have to take a supplement? I knew somebody who was vegan, got so ill, went to... This person was like 10 years younger than me, right? Or maybe not 10 like seven or something but still a lot younger than me significantly and was so ill that the doctor told them you have the body of like an 80 year old because they were vegan for a long time then they uh so they would talk to me about it and i'd be like eat some meat please eat some meat and so then they were secretly eating eggs and taking meat supplements they wouldn't eat meat but they took meat supplements like those organ tablets just eat meat just eat a steak what uh but anyway yeah they wouldn't do that but they did that and then they would go on twitter and just talk about how great veganism is meanwhile they're not technically eating vegan it was like uh heck i'm like stuck now because Well, even if I heck, let me think for a second. Got to think this through. <laughs> No, we can't do... No. Um... Hold on, let me think again. Let's look at this over here. <coughs> People like that should be called out. I feel bad because I kind of did. I kind of called this person out. Um... on Twitter and then they got upset at me and didn't want to be my friend anymore. But I don't know. There were other reasons. It wasn't just that, but it was, it was just a, yeah, that was just a <laughs> bad situation. <laughs> that wasn't good. <laughs> Ah! 
Moral of the story, eat meat, guys. Eat meat. Veganism is bad for you. Oh, a fire pit. <gasps> More! Where? Why is it moving now? They're not falling down now. Oh. Thunder Turtle with the 199 says, buy half a cow, eat meat. Yes, I can't wait to get my, my ground beef. Okay, that's closed. Vegeta says, wow, your hair looks fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we need to get the water out of this room. Okay, so let me make sure. Did I have a... No, I didn't have another key. Okay, I got to think about this. Oh, so we need that door to open. Okay, hold on. Uh, Troy News with a $5 super chat says, when are you going to start the cooking with Melanie Mac channel? <laughs> I would love that. I would love to start a carnivore slash keto YouTube channel. Ah! Whew. Um, I would love that. Maybe one of these days. It's just hard because I have like my plate really full with stuff. Right now I've got a lot of projects I'm trying to, like I'm trying to make a comic and all that. And so it's like, and I already do, I'm on Side Scrollers podcast twice a week. I am, I do near daily videos on my Bible channel and my Go Boom channel. And then stream here. So it's just a lot of things. Audio with the $5 super chat says, did you used to watch G4 on the TV back in the day? Had favorite show, X-Play, Electric Playground, Japanese Ninja Warrior, Cheat, Judgment Day, Icons. I did, I liked, I used to watch it when it was called Tech TV before they changed their name to G4. My favorites were, um, I did like, ex it was called Extended Play before it was called X-Play. I liked Extended Play slash X-Play, and I liked this show called Portal. Uh, that was really funny. Oh, hold on. Wait, is that where I came from? <laughs> Yeah, crap, though, because I don't know. I need to open more doors. Oh, did I ever? 
Oh, I don't know if I moved that over for the switch. Um, let me think for a moment. Wait, did I push it already? I think I may have, actually. And I moved it back for that. Crap, I can't even. Yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. Okay, never mind. Crap. Oh, let me think, let me think. I need to, uh, that boat thing, I need the water to go down in there first. I need, um, okay, what did I do here again? Yeah, that door was closed here. I need that door to open. I killed that dude. And I believe, yeah, I got a key there. And then I, yep, I pulled that switch and it opened this. So that it made this easy. Yes, I've beaten this game many times. I just forgot uh, some of the puzzles. Okay, so. That one was, yeah, there was that other. Ouch. Yeah, I wanted to move this so that I could. But I can't because I can't move this where I wanted it. Because I wanted to move that thing out of the... Heck. I can't. Cause I'm, that might not even be anything, though. Oh, okay, okay. This... Oh my gosh, that was close. We got the jade dragon there. <sighs> that we need the water to go down. <sighs> and then we also need this door to open. Okay. Let me investigate this. Oh, there's a lever. See, I didn't see it. Okay. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. Back here? Oh, that was already after I got the Jade Dragon, right? Okay, I think. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Thank you, Nico. <laughs> All right. Let's not make that same mistake. Tricky. Oh, we opened that door. I hear a baddie. And he's breathing heavy. <gasps> oh my gosh. Where are you at, heavy breather? <sighs> wait, I think, wait, never mind, we're right. Okay. Come on out, heavy breather. <gasps> oh, he's down there. Hold on, I'm gonna use my pistols because I don't have to waste those ammo. Rib steak or New York steak? Ooh. I like, uh... I like sirloin steak. I feel like sirloin steak is underrated. I do like a New York strip, too. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Hold on, let me do this first. No, he didn't drop anything for me. I see how it is. How the heck do I get... Okay, hold on. It be like that. Tomb Raider 2 be like that. Where do I usually buy my meat? Well, there's a couple farmers. I was getting from one farmer, but I wanted to try this other farmer because he did a, he does grass fed grain finish. So I want to try that. We did it. Oh, 
there we go. The water is gone. Oh my gosh, I almost fell over there. Into the glass spikes. Let me make sure if they dropped anything for me. Oh, this one did. Uh -huh. What the? It's closed. How am I going to get back up now? Oh. <gasps> I needed that anyway. See? Oh my gosh. If I would have freaking missed that. I could have been lost for eternity. And I think, oh, that would have been brutal. Rem dog with a $5 super chat says your choice of beef cut may explain your need for butter to lean. <laughs> I do like the lean cuts, not gonna lie. Um, but I like them cooked medium rare, so they're still juicy. But yeah, I don't like the fatty cuts as much. I guess if it's, if there's, yeah, for the most part, I don't like the fatty cuts. There's sometimes I make some exceptions. If it's like, if the, if you just take like beef fat, oh crap, uh, like from steak or something and you pop it in the air fryer so that's crispy and melts and melty, that's good. But if that chewy meat fat, I don't like it. Uh. You hate the taste of cow milk? Tastes too plasticky for you, but goat milk is good. Have you had unpasteurized raw cow milk? Because it hits different. And it's legit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. I've already pushed those two buttons. Let me see about up here first. Oh, yeah, that's this part. But, like, dude, I only have one circuit breaker. Oh, I can't move anymore. I can't go back up that way anymore.
<laughs> sirloin was your dinner tonight? Nice. I love me a good sirloin. Okay, so I have questions. Hold that one before, because that's what did this. Okay, I need... Oh, there. Okay, that's good and all, but I need more circuit breakers. <laughs> Thunder Turtle with the 499 says, do you think the gaming industry can sack a few mag managers to turn things around. Um, I mean, I think that 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 the conspiracy runs th deep with this stuff. I think like the government is actually involved with the DEI crap and all that. Um, the government, AKA Satan and his evil forces trying to corrupt people and using video games to do that because with trying to insert these ideologies that are contrary to God's word. Uh, and I know it sounds crazy to think, oh, Satan would do that with video games. I mean, yeah, he would freaking use whatever freaking method. And I think the entertainment industry is corrupted by Satan. I think the music industry is corrupted by Satan. The... And why wouldn't the gaming industry be corrupted by Satan as well, as huge as that is? So I think that's the case. So it just depends on, like... Are we gonna... Are we gonna reach some sort of revival and... Um, at, or, and you know, turn things around in society? Or is this going to be the dawn of the end times coming up? That's where the real question lies for me. So we'll see. I already pushed these, but what happens if you push them again? Yeah, there's no point. Glad your nephews were homeschooled. Nice. I was homeschooled until college. Why does your hair look so ratty? <sighs> That's textured hair for you. I have naturally ratty hair, I guess. Do I only like Christian songs? No, I listen to I listen to a lot of metal and rock. Okay, so we did okay. One step forward, still more steps back. Because we have only gotten... Oh, heck. And we can't go back up from here. Haha! <laughs> 
zero rules says ratty isn't radical. I love it. Arnold with the 299 Super Chat says, Firstborn son of Arnie reporting for duty, sir. Usus? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we have that one that takes us back here. All right, so let's... Oh yeah, we already pushed that button in it. Open that hatch. <laughs> I push those buttons. Pushing all my buttons, bay. This was for, I'm trying to remember what I even did there. If that was, was that just a secret? Uh. Oh, that's where I killed those two dudes over here. And I can't remember what was over there. Um. <laughs> you hate that. I swear, I think most of their songs are so annoying. Um, but they are catchy. I'll give them that. Oh, what did I get? I forgot what I even got there. Dragon statue. Okay. That's right. So I have two. All right, we did this thing. Well, the only thing I can think to do now is to push this up here. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna have to move this. Push-ups with a $2 super chat. Can you clip the kosher discussion from earlier for X? I don't know the time stamps on it. If someone else wants to clip it or if you can find it and clip it, you are welcome to. Well then. I did all that for nothing. Okay, let me think, let me think. Crap.
Let's look at this in old school graphics to jog my memories. Okay, so we're just gonna move these back then. Vader Mike, thank you so much for becoming a member on YouTube. Johnny says, I accidentally started a fight on Melanie's Discord about kosher. I feel bad about it. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry that turned into a fight. Some people get really like, oh my goodness. I, I've tried talking about it to people and explaining why I go kosher and how I feel like that's that's how God made things. So that's why I do it. Like some people get really defensive over it and I understand I've been there before myself. Um, it's really easy to get defensive over food discussions, but yeah. Okay, let's... All right, so that room, which that thing takes me back to... Gosh, I am just... Perplexed. So we've been here... Zafrez with the Prime sub for two months in a row on Twitch. Thank you so much. <sighs> Old Renaissance became a member on YouTube. Thank you. <gasps> Okay. All right, this is good. This is where I wanted to be. This is where I wanted to be. Oh, you guys had a kosher discussion on the server today. Gotcha. This is like puzzling to me because this just did nothing. Oops. Um. Okay. That's where I did this. What if... That's where I got a key. Open that. <laughs> Ouch. That's where I... What all did I do here? That's still closed, so we gotta figure out how to open that. Which I thought I did, but I guess not. Uh, uh. 
Yeah, and this took us back here. Yeah, that's a loop-de-loop. -loop. This door's closed. There's two doors closed here. Now, all I can think of is... If there is more I was supposed to do... Wait, that's that circle. If there was... well... I already pulled that switch. <laughs> this is a very intricate level. It's very tricky. Okay, so this is closed. I need to open that. Let's look at everything in the world graphics. That key was there. Okay, okay. We pulled that lever there already. Okay, so that's just a giant loop-de-loop. -loop. I wanted to try pulling that more, but... It's not possible, because we can get it there, then we... Yeah. Push-ups, thank you for the $2 super chat. No surprise. Best kosher food I had was in Israel. Nice. Okay, okay. Okay, I got the secret up there. The jade statue. <clears throat> now when you fall down here, there's no going back up now. Let's see what this did. Have I ever had lamb? Yes, many times. This puzzle area, I remember that. That's why I pulled a lever. Let me make sure. Okay, that stays planted. Okay, yeah, that opened that. Where we have been. <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay, well, I saved it back here, so... Okay. I have to figure out how to open those other doors. Heck it! Yeah, there's that loop here, so it's not those two areas. I just don't understand this room. This room, I opened the door, and there was nothing here. Hmm. 
All right, let's go back. That, I wish I could... Okay, whatever. Wish I could pull that thing back there. Thank you for the prime sub. Oh yeah, I already been there. That's why I accidentally fell in that thing. So, let's go up on this. Wait, is that the way we came no, 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 this is right. Let's double check this area in classic graphics, too. Okay, so that's where we push that thing down. Let's have a look. <gasps> look at that scuba guy under there. There he is, and a shark. Huh. Okay, back here. Classic graphics. We pushed. Let's double check what that did. Yeah, that's what... That's what sank the water on that. Okay. Evan Smith with a $9.99 super chat says it runs very deep in games. These people are ill. Not to sound crazy, but the ideologies they push are so outlandish and blasphemous. It's an attack on the natural order of things. I just want video games. I agree. I agree with that. None of these dudes dropped it. Yeah, that, okay. That does not look safe. Oh. Nope. Oh my gosh! Okay, so here we just had this. I feel like, what am I missing? What am I missing? 
Magsnet, thank you for the prime sub. Yeah, I already investigated all this. This was a button that lowered the thing there so we could easily go back and forth. And that took you to the... Okay. Oops. There we go. <laughs> Pushed that. Let's make sure I'm not missing any thing. Hmm. What about? Oh? No. Oh, <gasps> look. There's one. How? And a button. Wait, I've pushed that before. Yeah. How do I get on the other side? Uh. Oh. Oh, hold the phone. Oh, I think I've got it, you guys. I think I've got it. I push the button. Yes! Holy crap! Dude! That's tough when you... D oh my gosh. Forgot about that. That's tough. Too rare to be like that. I feel like with the new graphics, it's even tougher because with the old ones, you could see through the windows and with the new one, you couldn't. You could barely vaguely. Okay. All right. That took some work, but it's worth it. Okay, now I need to go... Thunder Turtle, the 199, this is what an honest playthrough looks like. Yes! Oh, look, Dan Vasquez in the chat. Say hi to Dan, everyone. Two or two don't play around. I know. They, oops, they don't. Tomb Raider 3 is very punishing as well. Like, they just don't give any hex, which is good. I like that, but... But yeah, it can leave you stuck for a while, <laughs> which is part of the fun. That's why I love these games. I don't like games that you just breeze through really easily. Okay, oop. Okay, now we have the second 
But there's still a third one. Careful, I don't want to get on fire. They do not make this easy for you. I tell you what, there is still a third one, you guys. I have explored everywhere around there, too, so... Let's see about... Ah! So close! And that fire's right there, so I can't even move it one over, which would be a dramatic help. And I think that's too high up here, yeah. Yeah. Crap. Now there's one more. Well, it's gotta be in that one room, honestly. It's gotta be. There's doors that are closed that we need opened. There's something there I'm missing that I haven't figured out. That is the only explanation. There's one more. One more, you guys. And... Yeah, I just gotta figure out how to open those doors. Alex Slusher with the $1 super chat. Thank you so much. No, you don't wanna move on that fire. It will burninate you. Okay. It's, it's gotta be the freaking, it's what it is. There's no other explanation. It's that one room where those, I gotta figure out how to open those doors. Um, wait a minute. I'm trying to remember how to get back there. Oh yeah, up here. <laughs> How do I solve a puzzle if Lara doesn't say the solution out loud for 30, second, uh, 30 seconds in? What about my yellow paint? Exactly. That's just how modern games have been. So stupid. I like this type of game where if you're stuck for hours and hours or even days, it's like, bring it on. Okay, so there are two doors. I still can't believe this is just nothing? Nothing? <sighs> Anthony with the 199, if you ran into Dr. Fauci on the streets, what's the punchline? I would ignore him. Like, I genuinely would just ignore him. I want to move this block. I don't think that's... Because I wanted to see what was in there, but I don't think it... It's probably just nothing. Wait, let me try to see if I can push it farther, honestly. No. Oh, it's probably just nothing, but still. I'm trying to think, what have I not done? That could possibly open those doors. <laughs> I need to move it one more over and I can't. I just don't think it's possible. <laughs> <sighs> uh. 
Okay, think, brain, think. I can't do anything here. No, there's no secret doors. This thing... Those barrels don't move. Okay, this was just a secret. Um... Okay, so the boat thing down there, we already went. That's how you get back to that one room, and we did all that. But we need to open some doors here. That is what has to happen. There's two doors here that have not been opened. And pulling that switch up again doesn't do anything. The thing up there... Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what flooded, or that's what put the water down. We can't bring the water level back up. Let's look at this in old graphics. That's where that one thing, you lower it. All right, we already got one from there, though. Okay. Heck, there's two doors. Oops. Well, well, not in here. They were in the other rooms. Okay, so this room was nothing. I still don't understand how that room would just be for no reason. So there's this door that will not open. It's just been shut. It doesn't look like... Okay. And in... Oh yeah, that takes us for a loop-de-loop -loop around, but this is <laughs> looking in old school graphics. When in doubt, toggle the retro graphics. That door will not open. I wonder if this door is I'm trying to glitch the look. Oh, look. 
I'm wondering if that's just a shortcut door, which I think it is. Yeah, that's what that door is. Okay. So that's kind of nothing. All right. Back to the drawing board. This was... Yeah, I don't need to go here. Wait. Was that the one that... Yeah, 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 this is the one I wanted to go to. Wonder if I just didn't explore this area enough. Cause look, I didn't shimmy. Oh, he's got Magnum Ammos for me. I didn't shimmy over there. Oh my gosh, and it's right there. Sometimes it's right under your nose, you guys. But I answered the question and I was like, was it that Door, figure it out, that wasn't it. Wait, I thought I saw it. I didn't, I didn't see it. It was my imagination. It was my imagination, you guys. Oh my gosh. I could have sworn I saw it. Well, what is this? Have I been up there? Oh, that drops you down here. I... <gasps> there it is! It was just right there! Oh, and those things... Hold on, I'm saving it in case I don't... Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness. That's the thing is sometimes things are under your nose. Uh -huh. But we explored the entire level. It was like we left no, no stone unturned. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. I remember when I was a kid playing this with my brothers, this level took us an eternity. And that last, you know that second key where I moved the hatch to get it? And when we were kids, we just figured out how to glitch through the window. That's how we got it. <laughs> the first playthrough. Okay. Thunder Turtle with the 199 says these games made you mentally tough. Exactly. Good times. Good times. Okay. Now we're ready for business. I felt like this should work though before I take it exactly where it needs to go. Hey, thank you so much. My kill for six months subbed on kick. Nope, that still doesn't work. Okay, it's fine. I just had to see. Wait, are we? Yeah, one more. Goodness. That was an ordeal. Okay. I knew, I knew it.
Thank you, Wicked Crits, for five months subbed on Twitch. All right. Huh. There's that. There's. What a long jump. <laughs> Can't glitch anything in the update. Sad day. But yeah, I remember playing on PS1. We were able to glitch our way through the window there to get that second key. It was funny. <laughs> Oh, that is a fall. Well, oh, it's water. <gasps> okay, making sure I'm not missing any pickups. A barracuda. Harpoons. I love the atmosphere on this. Tomb Raider 2 was... I was underrating it. I really was. Rindar, thank you so much for the Prime sub. <gasps> he doesn't like water. He's like, nope. I'd say he didn't want to get his hair wet, but he doesn't have no hair. He just uh -huh. don't like water. Oh, did I? Wait, I don't think I have a key. No, I don't. Sure call with the $5 super chat says, Mel, going to go wide receiver on any more bridal bouquets this wedding season? <laughs> if I get invited to another wedding, you know I will. I've got to I've got to have my collection. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, Halo, this is Tomb Raider 2. Oh, hold on, I'm getting twisted around and I'm gonna get lost if I don't be careful. We need a key. That is what we need. The most. Interesting. Kind of like spun around and lost my bearings. Honestly, the trick to catching a bouquet is a what at a wedding is to just be a tryhard. Be a tryhard. If you grew up with brothers and you've played football before, just be a tryhard because most girls won't be a tryhard. <gasps> was that that one? I was trying to look over there. Most girls won't be a tryhard. Most girls trying to catch a bouquet are really, really passive. So as long as you're a tryhard, you'll catch it.
Okay, no reason. Unless... Unless... Ooh. I can't push it or pull it, though. Interesting. Crap! Stuck! They did that on purpose, I swear. Okay, we still made it. Flares? Uh -huh. Okay, hold on. How am I gonna do this? Can't push it that way. There we go. Oh. my harpoons here oh <gasps> yes i swear that oh i think oh am i getting mixed up with something else i was gonna say I, there might have been a statue here but <gasps> ouch i say just run for it i don't have the kind of ammo to kill all of those and i would run out of breath Okay, we gotta be careful. Oh, thank you, original mind, for the bits. One second, I will reply after. Oh, a key. Dude, I gotta run. I gotta run. Oh, heck. Where is... Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, hold on. I'm gonna do this. Holy crap. That was something. This is like a labyrinth. Push-ups with a $2 super chat says, Wide receiver Mel made me proud to be an American. <laughs> I love it. Heck, I went this way. I don't want to go this way. It's like a maze. Here we go. Everything is just all loop-de-loop-de. -loop -de. I love that. It's like so much to do within the levels. This, that. Walk here. Now you gotta turn back here because this hatch opened. Now this, now that. Ooh, wait up. I was trying to move this over before. Now I can't. I mean, I don't even know if it's gonna do anything, but... Huh. Interesting. Why? Okay. Oh, that's what this hatch was. Why? <clears throat> oh, because this switch I can't even see. It's a dark level. Oh, where 
is that? That's next to a switch I already pulled. Another loop-de-loop! Um, I think not, not that. That's where the what the other hatch went down. Which direction? There's the water we came from. Not here. There it is. I hear you. I don't see him, but I hear him. Let's get some heavy ammo, heavy weapon. Oh, they're underneath. Well, let me see what that those bits said earlier. Um, good to see you could make an appearance on stream again. I'm out of here. Enjoy the rest of your stream slash night. Thank you, Original Mind. And then thank you, ZT Easy Maxim for the prime sub. All right. We're going to get Uzis on them. My favorite. My favorite. Uh... Hold on. Crap, I can't see. How do I get... Okay, where is... Okay, there we go, sorry. I had this... Dude, they're breathing heavy. Okay, well... <gasps> this is... This is where that glass was, and now it's wa underwater. So, wait a minute first, though. I want to pick up their items. Yeah, I probably could use a couple more mods. It's just tough for my mod team because I'm not always super consistent on stream times and stuff, so I can't expect them to always be there. Hold on. Uh, no, that won't work. I don't want to fall in the water because I want to get those items from those dudes I just killed. If I... No, not those. Oh, well, heck it. It's like... One ha mini medi pack. Who needs it? Oh, one of those dudes. My BFF. <gasps> An 
an eel. Another eel. All these eels. <gasps> help! Barracudas! Help, help, help! <gasps> Crap. Oops, I don't want to oozy them. Let's waste the ammo. Oh my gosh. Come back. That was stressful, dude. Okay. That was not smooth. Yay! I missed the gold statue, though! I only got those two. Ah, oh, dude, it would've been a waste of time with the harpoon. Do you realize how many harpoons it takes to kill these things and all of those baddies and the breath time? Mm -mm. Sometimes you just gotta beeline it. Oh, that hatch. Oh crap, the current, what the, I'm stuck, uh oh, I'm stuck, come on, keep going, fight the current, gosh, what the crap, Okay, I gotta find... Uh... I gotta find how to open that hatch. Okay, we're gonna have to load it after. That's weird. That was really weird. <laughs> So we spawn from where there's nothing, nothing to pull. Nowhere to go there. I don't see any levers to pull or anything. What the freaking crap? Oh, there it is. Okay, hold on, I'll die because I am wait for the wait for the reload. There it is hiding over there. It's drunk 3 PO! Hi! Let's talk games. <laughs> All right. Man, we made some good progress today. Um, okay, now we're at living quarters. All right, well, I am gonna go ahead and call stream there. Um, I've got side scrollers. Uh, podcast tomorrow at 11 Texas time. So I hope to see you guys there. Uh, thank you all so much, everybody, for hanging out with me. I almost burped, sorry. Uh, hanging out with me and two great streams yesterday and today. Um, 
I'll be live again maybe on Monday, but if not Monday, definitely Wednesday. So Wednesdays and Thursdays, that's when I definitely want to be scheduled for streams. And then Mondays are optional depending on what my time looks like. But thank you all so much. What a fun time. I'll keep playing Tomb Raider until Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out, and then I'll be streaming that. When, oh, what day does that come out though? Like, uh, what day of the week? 22nd? Oh, that comes out on a Friday. Crap. I was wanting to stream it like the day it drops, but I don't know if I will because usually I like to spend weekends with my family. We'll see. I'll probably start it on that Monday. We'll see. Yes, the Blabs Week finale tomorrow on Side Scrollers. I hope to see y'all there.